my daughter had a couple buckets of loose cars and she found out I got some more jammers so she said hey let me get a couple jammers so she could unload her buckets of cars and put her cars into the jammers now they're not called jammers anymore they're double sided thread organizers let me see if I can open this up without knocking the cars out hey I see a uh, I see highway 35 this is uh, some of her loose car collection let me see how many fall out hey not too bad so this is some of her loose car collection see look the cars got dusty because she had them in the bucket no big deal it'll just wipe right off but uh, lots of branch she used to like the uh, PT Cruiser or you know she still does when she sees them on the road and then uh, but it's no longer made in real life I don't know if any die cast manufacturers make it anymore here you have the uh, Mr. Wheeler's car, Diora. There's nice switchback, right? Beautiful. There's one side. She likes the Fantastique. I'll do a video about the Fantastique uh, in the future sometime. Doesn't matter the brand. As you can tell, there's lots of different brands in here. She had them all in the... Uh, she had them just tossed in a bucket here. You know, they just sit there. No harm. Get dusty, but no big deal. Let me just keep this one close so I can move along. Upper right, there's a Muscle Machines PT Cruiser, nice with flames. There's a McDonald's uh, funny car. So at least we can still get the uh, jammers online. Hey, wait a second, how does she get two Scooby-Doo uh, bugs? I'll have to ask her about that. But she had them in this bucket here, which is no harm, no foul. The only thing is... She also had this eraser in here. What she didn't know is you don't want to really mix rubber and plastic, <coughs> excuse me, rubber and plastic parts because rubber can have an adverse chemical reaction to plastic. I mean, uh, this plastic here, see? Look how the window's all messed up. The eraser, the the compounds in the eraser started to bond with the window and it just it just melted it. it had a little chemical reaction just melted the plastic right here that's all messed up this Nissan was actually uh, I think it was exclusive color in a uh, Johnny Lightning 6 car display case but uh, yeah that's why you don't want to mix rubber and plastic it was probably connected right here you can see a clean spot but you know I've made the same mistake myself that's how you learn from your mistakes I do downhill racing parties and I'll have special trays of these Disney racers there is they used to be in stores for the first couple years and then uh, the stores didn't have them anymore now they're sold in Disney stores I haven't been to Disney in a while but for my parties I would have special competitions and I would have trays with just the Disney racers and in the bottom of the tray I would have this uh, rubber liner that you put in the uh, bottom of the drawer so your tools or your kitchen utensils so they don't slide around they just sit there um, you can also use it underneath your uh, boosters if you're gonna use a, a track set on the floor and you find you find your booster sliding around on the uh, on the hard uh, surface like a wood floor, but you can't leave this there. When you play, it's okay to have it sit there. But when you're done, you got to get it off the floor. But anyways, I did the same thing, and some of these models actually had plastic parts. Like uh, let's see, I think this guy here. I think those things sticking out of his roof there. I think those are plastic, and it turned out they started chemically bonding with this material here so I'll let our mistakes be your learning lesson make sure you don't have uh, plastic parts touching rubber parts because sometimes they will uh, chemically bond together so that's the way it goes bye bye